Today I'm going to walk through Open Nebula's Elastic Private Media Cloud. In this screencast, I'm going to demo the first version of the Open Nebula Elastic Private Media Cloud Managed Service. All right, so I'm going to start off reviewing the web interface. Then I'm going to instantiate a media service flow. And from there, we'll review the capabilities that you have in managing your running service instance. Okay. So this is the main screen of the web interface where users can easily manage their media services. It's divided into three specific parts. In the first part, users can find the available templates. And each template is prepared for a specific media service in an infrastructure provider. So for example, the first one includes a streaming flow with a media kind packager and encoder to be deployed on AWS. In the second part, you can find your running media services. Now, now these are the above templates once they've been instantiated on an infrastructure provider. When a service is instantiated, a user can then define attributes for tuning the application and the specific capacity and geographic location of the physical resources to run the service. So in, in the particular case of this demo, we're gonna be using Packet as an infrastructure provider. So the Elastic Private Media Cloud, it's a managed service. And underneath it, there's an Open Nebula instance and an innovative functionality for automatic resource provisioning, which is fully managed by the Open Nebula team. Okay, the last part is located in the bottom right corner. Here, users can find a chat with the support team in case you have any trouble. And then the show back button, okay, right next to it, this button leads you, in this case, to packets showback so that you can check the cost of the resources. Okay, you see, you see here? Good. All right. Now let's check the application a little bit more deeply. As you can see, we already have a running instance, and we'll use that later for the demonstration, as that takes about 10 minutes to get ready, right? Which is the time needed to allocate and install the new physical resources. But we're going to check now how to instantiate a new one, and then we'll come back to the running one afterwards. Okay, so to instantiate a new service, we need to click on the template we want, and it will prompt a dialogue with the needed information. This dialogue has two different parts. The first one is related to the infrastructure parameters. These parameters are needed by the remote provider. So in this case, Packet needs information about where to deploy the host, what operating system to use, etc. Okay. The second part is related to the application itself. So for the moment, we can choose an image for a sports, a sports event, right? And some specific data for the encoder and packager, like the bitrate. Okay, once we filled everything in, right, we can click the instantiate button, right? And this will create the instance below with the spinner as you can see, and we'll start deploying everything in Open, Neb in Open Nebula and in Packet. Okay, now let's go back to the running instance to check all the things we can do with that. So this particular instance runs a streaming flow consisting of an encoder and a packager in the Packet Amsterdam location. So there, there are three buttons in the card. Okay, the, the last one is to delete the service. It will first ask for confirmation, and then it will delete all the resources from Packet and Open Nebula. Okay. The middle one, this one leads us to Sunstone, Open Nebula's web interface, in case we have to make some more advanced operations. Okay. Let's see here in Open Nebula. Okay, and now finally the last one. This one shows more detail about the provision itself. So here you can see the hosts, the data stores, virtual networks that are available in the provision. So finally, if we click on the host in the dropdown, we can see the packager and the encoder. Here you'll be able to find the public IP and you can connect directly to the admin panel of each of them. Okay. All right. So that's pretty much it for now. Hopefully you'll be able to see that behind this simple interface, 
that there's an innovative, powerful engine that allows you to build on demand a geo-distributed cloud to run your media services. It's a solution that combines the elasticity and pay-per-use benefits of the public cloud with the security and control and flexibility of an on-premise deployment while avoiding any type of cloud technology lock-in. All right, I hope this is helpful.